Number 91. How much damage can astral projection do on a spiritual level? Astral projection is a tool to enhance and get a better understanding of your spiritual self. It cannot damage it in any way. Number 92. Can I become clairvoyant while astral projecting? Astral projection surely sharpens your psychic abilities. We are all different. We all have different degrees of affinity towards different psychic phenomena. Some people have an affinity towards telepathy, while others toward telekinesis or other psychic abilities. If you have an affinity towards clairvoyance, you will become more clairvoyant. Number 93. How far can I go using astral projection? As far as you wish. There are absolutely no limits, but in order to go into space, you need to have good control over your thoughts and speed. This takes time and patience. Number 94. Can astral projection help me go to outer space and other universe? I mean, can I travel thousands or millions of light years away in an instant? Yes, you can. You will be amazed at the speed with which your astral body is capable of moving. But as I said in my previous answer, before you can do that, you need to be an experienced projector who has mastered his control over speed, thoughts, and emotions. Number 95. Is it normal to astral project to Mars, Venus, Saturn, and Jupiter, not to mention the Moon, and see life on these planets? Can I see UFOs? Yes, it is possible to see UFOs and even life on other planets. But you need to be quite proficient with astral traveling before you can do that. Number 96. Can a person who is astral traveling help others astral travel? If the other person is willing to be helped, then yes, it is possible. But it may not always be the right thing to do. Number 97. How can I know if I am making progress in my astral projection endeavors? You will know naturally. You just cannot help knowing. You will know that you have succeeded when you find yourself out of your physical body. And while practicing, there are many pre-projection phenomena that will tell you that you are on the right track. Some examples of these phenomena are vibrations, floating sensations, astral paralysis, buzzing sounds, etc. Number 98. Whenever I practice, I feel some pressure in my forehead and at the tip of my nose. Is this a positive sign? Since no two individuals are alike, people have different experiences when they are trying to project. Do not worry, and just observe the pressure. The symptoms will ultimately vanish when your astral body leaves your physical body. Yes, you can take it as a positive sign. Number 99. When I close my eyes and concentrate on my third eye chakra, I see a tunnel of light at the end. Am I supposed to exit through this tunnel? Many people leave their physical bodies through the third eye chakra. So you seem to be on the right track and very close to success. If you can see a tunnel, then you ought to exit through this tunnel. Number 100. Recently, whenever I try to project, I have been feeling the sensation of a hot tingle instead of a cold tingle. I've read that astral projections occur with cold tingles, and I've felt cold tingles in the past, so does that mean something is wrong? No, this doesn't mean that something is wrong. All kinds of tingles, hot or cold, are good signs. Just focus on them and avoid getting into a panic. Just continue to relax till you achieve the vibrations. Number 101. What have others experienced when out of their bodies? People have reported a wide variety of experiences. In fact, they just cannot be listed in too small a space. Some people just bounce back into their bodies. Some travel to far off places. Some immediately rush off to find out what their relatives and friends are doing. Your experiences in the astral will be unique, quite unlike anybody else's experiences. In my astral projection book, there is a huge section that talks all about other people's experiences. Number 102. Is it really possible for animals or perhaps people to be aware of my astral body? Some animals can see in the astral. Cats are supposed to be able to do it. Many mediums can feel the presence of astral bodies, while some experienced mediums can even see them. You might have seen the 1990 movie Ghost, where the medium is able to see the ghost of Patrick Swayze. Number 103. 
Do you know of a good interactive site where people practicing can work with each other, as opposed to submitting comments on blogs or forums and waiting for a reply? You can try searching for meetup groups on Astral Projection. A quick search might give you a few groups close to your city. Number 104. Well, I have sat in with other humans who were going through their normal daily actions, so I know that when you are out of your body, you can be with others on this plane. But I have never seen any other person who was in their astral form, nor did I feel them nearby. Why is that so? This is normal. Many people do not report seeing others in the astral. But when you astral project several times and move around, you are bound to meet someone who is either a conscious astral traveler or an unconscious dreamer. Number 105. Can you take objects back from astral traveling? You can take back experiences, knowledge, and wisdom, but not objects. Number 106. What would you say to those who think astral projection is not logical or is something evil, some kind of devil practice? I would say nothing. We do not have to justify ourselves or prove our point to others. If some people feel that astral projection is not logical or is evil or is of the devil, they are entitled to their beliefs. However, there are countless people who have had conscious astral experiences and they do not have the need to prove to anyone whether it is true or not. You know it is true. Number 107. When visiting someone whilst in the astral plane, is it possible to move objects or leave some message so a person knows you visited them? My aunt would love this if I could. Yes, it is possible, though extremely rare. When in the astral, most people are unable to move or have any effect on physical objects. But there have been cases when a projector is able to gather so much energy from higher astral planes that he materializes himself in the physical, moves an object, and then dematerializes again. So if you are planning to do this with your aunt, it might not be possible. If you want to prove to her that you visited, you can visit her in the astral, see what she is doing or wearing, and then report it back to her. Number 108. Are there many universes apart from our physical universe? Apparently there are. Existence is vast and without boundaries. There are innumerable planes and one of them is the earthly plane, which vibrates on a lower frequency. The planes or realms that vibrate on high frequencies can be accessed only by highly advanced spiritual beings. Most of us hover over the earthly plane and the astral planes that are close to the earthly planes. So yes, there are universes on this plane as well as other planes. Number 109. How can I become a co-creator in the universe? You already create. You have created what you are experiencing right now. Unfortunately, we are unaware of the fact that we are constantly creating and believe that things happen to us. Just enhance your sense of awareness and you will realize that you are already a co-creator. You will have great fun when you start creating consciously. Number 110. How can I know the difference between being dead and being on astral plane? When you are dead, you do enter the astral plane, and you can visit the astral plane when you have astral projected too. However, when you are dead, you will not be able to re-enter your body because the subtle silver cord that connects your physical body to your astral body is finally severed. When you have just astral projected, the cord remains intact, and you can easily get back into your physical body. This is the difference. Number 111. Why is it that during my projections I cannot move far enough from my body? You have to examine yourself to find the answer to this question. Are you afraid to move far away from your body? You must also understand that there is a powerful attraction between the physical body and the astral body. The two bodies tend to unite. You have to use your willpower to move away from it. The trick is to move away from the physical body as soon as you have astral projected. If you stay too close to it and look at it, you will find yourself bouncing back into it. Once you have astral projected, keep your thoughts free of your physical body. Avoid thinking about it. If you think too much about your physical body, you will find yourself back into it. Number 112. How to manage and maneuver once I am in the astral realm. 
I am not sure if I have understood your question properly. Do you mean how can you move around in the astral realm? If yes, then the answer is you move with your thoughts. Thoughts are everything on the astral plane. If you want to go from point A to point B, you need to think about point B, and you are there. Although you might find that you have astral legs, it is not required to use them. Similar to our physical senses, we have astral senses, which are more enhanced and sophisticated than the former. Number 113. How can I make my astral experience last longer? You only have to will it. However, if you feel your physical body beckoning, you must respect its desires. Never stay out when your physical body quite plainly wants you back. Number 114. Why are some journeys more intense than others? Sometimes you visit places that you are emotionally attached to. These places have a sense of strong attachment and belonging, or maybe they help you recollect some fond or not so fond memories. Regardless, these are places or timelines that have had an impact on you in your present or past lives. Hence, these journeys can be more intense than others. Number 115. Can we astral project to see what kind of sickness someone is having and find medication for that person, just like some traditional healers? If you have a desire to become a healer and help those in need, then yes, you can. Once you astral project, you can learn anything that you wish to learn and use it for the benefit of those on Earth. Number 116. If I were having a nightmare, would this prevent me from getting out and about? Nightmares are a great way to have lucid dreams. You need to affirm yourself for several days that whenever you have a nightmare, you will realize that this is not real and just a dream. And once you become lucid, you can convert that lucid dream into an out-of-body experience. Number 117. Is it possible to enter another person's dreams during projection? You can be part of someone's dreams or astral experiences when you are out of your body, just as you can be part of someone's life when you are inside your physical body. However, you cannot control someone else's thoughts, dreams, and experiences. Number 118. For how long can I stay out of my body? Is there a time limit? Only the limit you set for yourself. Obviously, you cannot stay out for years because you have a life on Earth. You have to wake up in your physical body. You can stay out for a few minutes, and if you are experienced, even several hours. Number 119. What if I want to stay in the astral plane and not come back? Is it possible? Your experiences in the astral plane will deepen your understanding and knowledge of life. You will also develop a greater love of life and tolerance for other beings. Once you are in the astral, you will realize that life on Earth has a purpose, so you will not try to escape into the astral. You will come back more spiritually developed. You can stay in the astral plane for an indefinite period once you are dead. Of course, even then, people do come back and take fresh bodies. In other words, we take another birth or reincarnate. Number 120. Can you experience cosmic consciousness when doing astral projection? Everything depends on what you mean by cosmic consciousness. If you mean the universal mind, or God, or the ultimate truth, or anything else that people choose to call it, you will have to do a lot of soul work before you experience it. The cosmic consciousness is housed in the highest plane, which is accessible only to spiritually advanced beings. In that plane, the individual is said to merge with the whole. Number 121. Have you ever had out-of-body experiences in which you connected spontaneously to a physical body on the material plane? No, I have never had such an experience. Number 122. Could you astral travel to me and prove to me that it works? I do not need to prove to anyone that astral projection works. This is not about forcing my belief on others. If you want to see if this is real or not, you will need to do the work and experience it yourself. There is no better proof than personal experience. Number 123. How does each of the steps feel? Being relaxed, staring SP, the vibrations, the exit? 
Very briefly, when you are completely relaxed, you will feel as if you do not have your body. You won't feel your arms or legs. Your mind will be clear of all thoughts. I guess by SP you mean sleep paralysis. When you have sleep paralysis, you will be unable to move your body. It will seem very heavy, as if someone has tied you down to your bed. Vibrations will feel as if there is a surge of energy moving throughout your body. The exit is the final liberating moment, where you suddenly find yourself floating out of your body. All these sensations and more are explained in great details in my upcoming 18-part audio course. Number 124. Is the world we project into a copy of the physical world, or is it whatever we make it to be? The astral world is a subtle realm comprising people's thoughts, emotions, and desires. The astral plane and the physical plane merge into each other. There is no distinct boundary separating them. Therefore, it comprises of things that are already available on the physical realms and also what is available inside people's minds as fantasies, thoughts, ideas, and dream stuff. Number 125. Can two people in one room astral project at the same time and be able to see each other after they have projected? Yes, you can astral project together, see each other, and share an astral experience together. Number 126. Why do we have to interact with the unseen world if God has given us a physical body by which we are permitted to live on Earth? You don't have to if that is the way you feel about it. However, millions of people have been astral projecting for centuries. Don't you think that God would have done something about it if he had been so offended by it? He probably does want us to explore the astral realms too, so that we can become better humans and make this a better world to live in. Number 127. I purchased your book, and in it, you were praising Yuri Geller. Yet James Randi exposed him as a con man. So why do you praise him? Firstly, the line in my book mentioning Yuri Geller was, Yuri Geller is very famous for bending spoons with his mind. I do not think this is the equivalent to praising him. It was just a statement based on the fact that many people believe he had the powers to bend spoons. He was indeed famous. If he weren't, you wouldn't know his name, right? To answer the second part of your question regarding James Randi, You always find people who say negative about almost everything. They are born critics. And they find immense pleasure in their unique ability to criticize and prove others wrong. If you idolize any famous personality, just do a search on the internet and you will find a group that hates him or her. So do you stop idolizing that person? If tomorrow someone comes and exposes James Randi as a con man, whom do you then believe? Yuri Geller or James Randi? If you always believe and trust other people's views, you will never believe in yourself. So we should have our own judgments about things and have our own volition to decide between what is wrong and what is right. Number 128. Do astral entities actually exist? If yes, are they dangerous, and can they harm me or hurt me? Astral entities do exist. We are not the only creatures around, but they can't harm you, unless you allow them to bully you. If it makes you feel safer, learn some astral self-defense techniques, surround yourself with a protective sheet <coughs> of electric white light, and watch those bad astral entities flee from you. Number 129. How to avoid negative astral entities. Avoid thinking about them and being afraid of them. They will bully you only if you are scared of them. They can't hurt you. They are mindless creatures. If you want, you can wear a protective amulet or use some psychic self-defense techniques. One such technique is to place yourself in a globe of protective white light. Negative entities hate anything bright and positive. Number 130. How can I protect myself from these entities? You can protect yourself by not thinking about them so much. They will approach you only if they realize that you are scared of them. Be cheerful, bright, and positive. Negative entities hate that, and they will stay away from you. You can also use some astral self-defense techniques. You can surround yourself with bright white light to keep bad entities away. Number 131. What is the silver cord? 
The silver cord is an energy cord that connects the physical body to the astral body. The two bodies communicate with each other through the silver cord. As long as the silver cord is intact, you are alive. It breaks only when you die. Number 132. Is there any danger of an evil entity severing my silver cord? Many misinformed people believe that an evil entity can sever the silver cord, but it cannot be farther from the truth. If an entity could sever your cord, they would have done so by now. Remember, every time when we sleep, we astral project unconsciously. If you have successfully woken up after every night all these years and no one has severed your cord yet, why should you believe they could sever it when you astral project consciously? You see, you are fully in control of your body and your silver cord. Nobody can harm you or touch you against your will. If you are worried, you may feel comfortable using some psychic self-defense techniques. That will keep all the unsavory elements away. Number 133. Am I always connected to the silver cord? Does it ever break? The silver cord connects your physical body to your astral body right from the time we are born. It never breaks as long as you are alive. The silver cord breaks and disintegrates only when you die. Number 134. Can an evil entity take over my body? Nobody can take possession of your body against your will. Number 135. Can these entities follow me back to my body? Even if they follow you back to your body, they can't take possession of it. Anyway, you don't have to worry, as long as you stay calm, unafraid, and positive-minded. No negative entity would bother you. Number 136. If I have a weak heart, can I die? And if the entities frighten me, can they hurt me in any way? If you have a weak heart or cardiac problems or any major health issues, you should avoid getting involved in paranormal adventures. Or at least have a chat with your medical advisor before trying to astral project. Number 137. What to do when I encounter one of these entities? How should I react? If you ever encounter a negative entity, stay calm. Don't get into a panic. Will the negative entity to leave you, and you will be surprised to find that it goes away. Alternatively, you can use a psychic self-defense technique, request your spirit guide for help, or wear a protective amulet to ward off negative entities. Number 138. Why were those entities able to make me astrally project against my will? Nobody can make you astral project against your will. How can you be sure that entities made you project? Number 139. My main concern in my being reserved with astral projection is encountering or passing through the lower realms of entities and contending with their delusions. You will not get into the lower astral realms unless you want to. In fact, you will never go anywhere you don't want to. You will go only to a plane that matches your state of mind, thoughts, and belief systems. So if your thoughts are pure and good, you will never be able to stay in the lower astrals, where most of these entities reside. Your vibrations will instantly tune you into higher astral realms. Number 140. I have had a bad physical experience with psychic attack. How do I know that this sort of thing can't happen during astral projection? Psychic attacks, even if they happen on Earth, can be dealt with. First and foremost, identify your attacker. Do you know who is attacking you? Counterattack with loving energy from the cosmic consciousness, divine consciousness, God, or whatever you call it. Never send back thoughts of anger and hate to your attacker. Protect yourself with bright white light and positive thoughts. Develop your own soul powers. Finally, you can request your spiritual guides or guardian angels to help you.